Good call. Hitting the record button right now. Oh, I want to show uh, you the other Tucker. Oh, oh the hello. This is the baby. Oh, he's adorable. a tiny little tabby. He is perpetually confused. He is. Aww, he's a tiny tiger tabby. Oh, you're adorable. How about that? Doctor Tucker, you've uh, you got some competition. <laughs> you're, not, you're not as adorable. I'm sorry. <laughs> Put it off the island. Get these fucking players. Ah, uh, this shit. There can only be one. All right. Uh, so uh, before um, before we jump uh, back in and you know kind of go back to where we were from uh, from last week, um, kind of wanted to take a, a little bit of a, a moment here. Um, and think about what might have changed uh, since the start of uh, last week. Obviously, we've already lost uh, one team member um, uh, from last uh, from last week in the form of Janie, um, yep. Emily's character. But um, I wanted to talk about specifically have the relationships changed at all between your characters. Um, one of the things in the role playing game uh, for Alien is that we're able to, in between sessions, at the start of each session, kind of think about what might have happened last time and, you know, pick new buddies and rivals. And um, I wanted to extend that opportunity uh, now and see if, um, see what people are thinking or feeling. Uh, I know I changed my rival in like the middle of last session. Oh yeah, you did. Yeah, because Alfredo was annoying me, so I made him my rival. <laughs> um, well, that can remain. Yeah. Well, my rival's dead now, so I don't know. Should I get a new rival? <laughs> I think you have to, right? I guess I have to. Um, you can be pissed off well, at whoever you want. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Tucker's sick. I feel like I shouldn't be rivals with him. Yeah. yeah I was just going to sit around this whole time. I'll be rivals with Tucker, sure. I'll think of a reason. Okay. <laughs> think of a reason. Right on. Yeah. Let me change that. What about, uh... What about, uh, Tucker and, uh, Alfredo? I'm good just sticking with mine. Okay. My buddy was Janie, but, uh, she's kind of dead. Yeah. Can we, oh, quick, can we do a quick recap on what happened to her? Because I do not remember. Um, <laughs> she was we got uh, wrecked. She, uh, she we got was, absolutely uh, cut off from the group and uh, was stalked oh. by the uh, the alien and fought it and put up a good fight for a while, but then eventually um, she was uh, subdued by the creature. That was yes. a good fight. I remember. Dude. She she decided to go to a different uh, different she, cave and then we got her cut chances. off. Yeah, I thought it was going to meet up, and it was going to until that damn earthquake. Yeah, yeah. That boulder. DM quake. Yeah. DM quake. <laughs> sure, I, I can I can assure you they're only partially random. <laughs> mm -hmm. it, depends, mm -hmm. it depends on which ones have already been set off. Oh, so can okay. we make our rival... The alien creature that killed Janie? That makes the most sense, honestly. <laughs> well, you, Do we you even can, know she's however, dead? However, I don't know yeah. if your character knows exactly what happened to her. I, you guys did hear the scream last time, and as far as you were all concerned, that meant she was she was dead. Uh, but sure. what killed her, you don't know. Could have fallen, for all we know. She could have had a stroke. Yeah, it's just a fun. random it's medical fun. incident. <laughs> but, um, where we did leave off last time, uh, of course, it was already mentioned that, uh, Tucker, Dr. Tucker was, um, was sick. sick and, he, and he is currently in the, um, in the underground city, kind of heading towards the, uh, the Juggernaut ship. And then everybody else is already kind of there. So it seems like you guys were exploring. Tucker was trying to catch up to you. Um, uh, Imbasha 
found kind of this big room here. Right. I shouldn't have gotten rid of that, but I, I, whatever. Didn't I go in? Or didn't Kenny go in? Yeah, who? I guess I was, I was waiting for Tucker. I thought I had gone in that ship. I, I, for whatever reason, we left off with you right here. Uh, and then we left off with uh, Alfredo's confronted some kind of horrible abomination uh, in this room. Who was um, attracted to me because someone decided to yell. <laughs> So, uh, Asha? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, uh -huh. Oh, you did do that. <laughs> so, uh, this, uh, so that's kind of, I mean, that kind of brings us up to speed. I, I, I feel like, uh, this, uh, this, uh, pressing matter with this, uh, this monster is probably one of the first things that, uh, are, we're probably going to have to deal with right here. Um, the creature that you see, just kind of as a recap, it's, you know, vaguely humanoid in shape, but it's it's giant. It's at least 12 feet tall, limbs extended, um, skeletal, uh, strange kind of elephant-like uh, helmet. Uh, there's something underneath it. Some, it's almost like it's wearing the, some like it's some kind of bio suit. Um, and, uh, and it's making really horrible noises that sound kind of like the cr uh, cross between a, uh, like a, a, a wolf's howl and maybe a little bit of a, a bear or an elephant in there as well. It's, it's, it's a pretty disturbing noise, uh, the stuff of nightmares. Um, and it's, uh, it's looking uh, pretty, uh, it's looking pretty uh, mean. Um, and it does not like you, Alfredo. I don't know why. <laughs> I I do. You have no idea as why. Um, I got an idea. I think the um the sound might have probably traveled through the juggernaut. So I do think at this point in time, Mbasha and um and uh, Kenny probably uh, have heard the sound. Just for reference. Right. So, we don't know what it is. So, normally we would uh, draw for an initiative, but of course, uh, because it's one-on-one, -on -one, I don't really think that's necessary. Um, but um, what is uh, what is um, Alfredo going to uh, do in this situation? The creature is huge, but lumbering. It's not necessarily too fast. Um, one the implication, there is that, the implication there is that you can probably make the first move. Well, I got my uh, my magnum drawn, so can I pop some rounds off into this cat? Um, yeah, so we can draw the weapon, and then you're going to uh, use ranged combat. Might be our first ranged combat. Mm. Yeah, it's uh, there was a negative two thing applied to it. Do you remember what that was for? Because of the uh, panic from earlier. Is that worn yeah. off yet, or is that still set? I I think that probably wore off. Honestly, that was a little while ago. I oh, like Barnster. Well, that was specifically for Alfredo. Oh right, I remember that. It's kind of been a week, so... <laughs> it's been a week, he's over it. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm better now. Just sat there for a week. Staring at this thing. Mm. I guess our stress level should go there. down too, then. <laughs> oh, let's not get too crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's the, uh, what are the numbers here? Uh, for agility, it's four. For ranged combat, it's two. And uh, what's the stress? Three. Alrighty. So, so Alfredo draws his magnum. 
fires at the monstrous, horrific thing. Got one success and two panics. Well, that sucks. Could be no success. So, it counts worse. Could be worse. Roll for stress. Three plus uh, three equals six. You keep it together and you fire uh, one uh, round into the creature, but now I gotta roll for its armor. Let's see here. Just basically all of the base dies. Um, and the uh, bullet deflects off of it. No damage. Yes. Wait, so it deflects. Where does it go? Does it go into like the nearby scenery? Yeah, it uh, it punctures uh, one of the bases actually. Uh, but at this point in time, it's really not a concern. Where uh, where did it shoot? Like, what part of him did he hit? Um, it probably maybe it hit him in the head or something. Uh, in any case, it didn't appear to do anything. Let's go center mass. Most likely, where you aim. Well, in any case, it didn't really stop the creature, and uh, maybe realize it, it's not really again not really a crucial concern for your character. But uh, you might have noticed that the um, it did kind of hit one of the bases that's in the room, and. You know, maybe something is starting to leak in there. Might be something to consider in the back of your head. But in any case, like, this, uh, this thing is moving towards you. And, um... Where's the stats at? What is the base leaking? Is it, like, liquid? Yeah, it's, uh... Well, you wouldn't know. It's, 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 uh, the black liquid, though. Oh, shit. Justin knows what's up. Alright, so... I'm gonna roll for the creature's attack here. Put it, uh... Dice mode. One. So, the creature I get, uh, apparently was very enraged by the gunfire and lets out a horrible roar. Um... Chris, we're going to have to make another panic roll for you. Six plus three. Um, your stress level increases by one, and uh, you drop the gun. No! Shit. Bruh. Because right. it yelled at me? Let out a horrible Scary roar. Yo. It was skilly. Yeah, it's, Trust it's me, like, I've seen worse. Being the marshal. I don't know. This, yeah, is, right? <laughs> this is pretty horrifying. I don't know. I don't know. It's I lost my commentary. My favorite. <laughs> Justin, um, did he disappear? Um, he no, he's in the other room. We're gonna... I, no, I got cut off for a second. Yeah. <laughs> what um, happened? I heard it roared. Oh, oh. He dropped um, his gun as well. Okay. He's a little pussy bitch. That's not his fault. Just the way it is. You say he's a pussy bitch. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna leave it uh leave that right there for now and so move on to um uh Kenny. What's uh what's Kenny gonna Yeah. Do? I don't feel great about staying out here hearing that. So I think I'm gonna hobble on inside. Which way are you going in? Um what would I have heard? I would have heard the monster. Yeah. Now, right. You would have heard the monster, and it would have been coming from this area over here. I guess I'll go down the hallway, but just stop at the doorway. You know, just kind of peek in, see what's going on. Uh, the one hears, up too. Kenny uh, yeah. funnels and hears the horrible noises, and for some reason, decides to head right in that direction. Maybe yeah. somebody needs help. My man. Yeah, yeah. I don't have any uh, weapons, but so I, I this uh, this whole area here, I, I I made a little bit more liberal with the um, with the movement. So you technically only move one space, so you could go one more if you wanted to. Uh, I 
uh, yeah. I mean, if I can't see into the room yet, I would. I mean, you could. I'd go till I could see into the room. Kenny goes right into the room to see what's up. And at this point, you would see the horrified Marshal Alfredo standing there, gun lying on the ground, and the horrific monstrosity that stands before him. The giant, uh, you know, vaguely humanoid monster of some kind. It's, uh, I don't know how many times I need to explain it. It's just very (laughs) inhuman. It's ugly. Uh, It's it's something very wild. Uh, But... Um, that would, uh, that would take up your, your two moves. That will so, turn, yeah. Kenny, uh, but take that, uh, to kind of think about what you're going to do. Um, yeah. Imbasha. Yes. What's, uh, what's the, your move going to be? All right. So, being a doctor and someone who just generally cares about other people, I recognize that someone's probably in a bind, to say the least. Where is the uh, monster in that A6 room? It's kind of like right where the number A6 is. Yeah, and, and also, then these two... Oh, sorry, continue. I was going to say, you also probably heard the gunshot, too. I forgot to mention. Oh, yeah, right. I figured. Uh, but these two circles, are they pillars? Yes. Uh, the, that room is containing... Um, hundreds if not thousands of uh, vases of vases we don't know we should know what's in there Um, even though one is leaking apparently yes uh, punctured punctured okay Uh, uh, Um, so I will move to A4 and kind of look around that corner so Mbasha steps out of the room wants to head towards that area. See what's going on. But unfortunately, I think at this point, you don't quite get to have a good view exactly of, of the situation. Okay. I would not think. Do any, us, do any of us, even Tucker, do any of us have a incendiary kind of thing? I know Janie had the... I have flares. A flares, okay. Yes. Okay. I have a plan. Okay, with throwing alcohol on this thing can help the plan. I have alcohol. Possibly. <laughs> okay, we'll talk. Are... We'll talk next turn. Okay. <laughs> right. Let's catch up with Dr. Uh, Dr. Tucker over here. So, Dr. Tucker, if you recall, um, you know, of course, <laughs> right. you're, you're not doing <laughs> well right now. You're feeling very increasingly more ill. Um... <laughs> Starting to turn pale, starting to shudder, nauseous, headaches, um, and uh, for this reason, we have to make a uh, stamina roll uh, in order to kind of keep moving here. Um, so, stamina. I got four, I got three strength, one stamina, and four stress. Three strength, four stamina, and one stress. Three strength, one stamina, and four stress. Oh, 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 three strength, one stamina, and four stress. Right. So Got a de-stress there, bud. I was about to do the... Yeah. Mm. If I survive... This, this roll? Yeah. <laughs> I know what happens if you, if you don't get the roll. I think that's happened yet. I think, um... This, it hasn't happened. This, yeah. this whole game Damn has it. been super interesting because you guys know the, the a- alien universe and I have, like, genuinely, like, no idea what's going on. <laughs> it's well, really cool. still pulling some... He's pulling some stuff that I don't know what's going on still yeah, to do. I'm so. trying to pull stuff from the edges of the universe that uh, might be unfamiliar, like, going just beyond, like, face huggers and xenomorphs. Ah, I see. Um... Because the after a period of time you start to kind of get the rules and all that jazz. Um, sorry, I forgot how to roll for for this again, so I'm just quickly rolling, uh, trying to find the rules again. This. Um, At some point, Johnny, though, we should do like a, a sync up a alien movie on Zoom and, and watch it. It'll be fun. It sounds fun. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. I don't know which one. Maybe the first one. 
at least the first two. Yeah, I haven't seen Aliens in probably like 15 years. That'd be... What the hell is what? The hell is this? Special edition. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to. Don't be. My sister's probably gonna come in and and because she wants money and I have to give it to her. Against. Okay. Just checking the cat. <laughs> All right. All right. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. So. Uh, so Dr. Tucker is trying to pull through, but this uh, this disease is really uh, pulling him down. But let's see if he makes it. Um, oh, let me uh, let me turn this. Sorry about that. Um, all right, so one success. Unfortunately, one, pa- one unfor- panic. Unfortunately, uh, that's not going to help you right now. But you did get a panic, so we, now we got to do a panic roll. And it won't, and it won't help or hurt. Well, well, no. I'm saying that uh, one success isn't gonna isn't gonna oh, help oh. move at this point. But with five plus four is nine. Um, Justin, is Doctor Tucker uh, holding anything right now, like a medical bag or a flashlight or a textbook? He drops it. Okay. The anatomy book. <laughs> yeah. And uh, at this point, uh, unfortunately, Dr. Tucker um, is uh, struggling to even move at this point. Um, so he's, uh, he's kind of stuck out there. Um, I don't know if he's collapsed at this point, but he's he's really um, he's really dragging his feet right now. So okay kind of leaving you there, unfortunately. So I can't really do any action, like de-stress? Well, you can... I mean, as long as you're not able to move, I mean, you could decide to, like, just lay down and try and de-stress, but honestly, that's going to be a little bit difficult in this case because um, of the way you're feeling right now. But, I don't know. Might be, it might be your only thing you can do. Yeah, I'll, I'll try to do that. All right. All right. So Tucker decides to collapse right there. Um, Oof. Next turn, you might be able to. We, you know, we're gonna have to kind of roll again. Uh, but um, you could try and maybe see if you can call out for somebody or something, just as a a thought. I don't think that'll be helpful. Just throwing it out there, just letting you know what your options are. Yeah, can I lower one? Can I take away one stress level? Uh, after uh, after a turn, you can. Okay. Sorry to leave you there, buddy. I did justify it by making you my new rival. So. <laughs> uh, I would never, but Kenny would. All right. So now we're going back in here. Um. So. At this point, um. Uh, I would say Kenny, at the very least, is seeing the whole situation over here with Alfredo and the monster. And I think now um, is the point where we can really kind of uh, properly draw for the initiative. Right. So, yeah, I was thinking I'd pick up my gun and kind of run. Let's see what we got here. So I'm going to shuffle the numbers here. For the monster, oh. for Alfredo, and for Kenny. Ten, nine, and eight. Well, that I thought I shuffled these really good just now, but I <laughs> ten, nine, and eight. <laughs> um, but that's what it is. So it's actually in. I I forget if it's in ascending or descending order. I think it's highest to lowest, so it would actually the oh. monster gets the first turn, followed by Alfredo and and then uh, Kenny. Um, so the monster is gonna roll for a move here. Six. So the uh, the monster rushes towards Alfredo. And uh, grabs him by his head, 
in a very warm embrace? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe a little bit too warm of an embrace. Does he uh, rub his soft hands all over my body? My hardened, chiseled body? That was a thick if, ass if, body. If, if only. <laughs> If Damn only. right, it's a thick ass body. Unfortunately, <laughs> it, it's more like the creature's trying to crush your head. So, what we do here, we uh, we roll for the attack using six base die. That'd be cool. Be fun. How much is health uh, determined by again? Um, it's strength? determined by your strength. Okay. Um, so we got one success with this attack, and according to what I'm reading here, uh, the creature grabs Chris, or Alfredo, by the head with its claws, and, uh, immediately, uh, triggers critical injury 64, which is a crushed skull. Oh. And Alfredo's story ends. Oh. You're gonna really <laughs> you're gonna do Alfredo like this? That sucks. Right. No, he I doesn't can't. even have an option to like fight back at all. No, nope. you would if you had a, it was a good attack. Uh, I'll, <laughs> let, let me, let, I, I printed these out. Let me, let me read this right now. It says the abomination grabs the victim's head and tries to crush it with its bare hands. Roll for the attack using six base die, damage one. If the attack causes damage, it automatically triggers critical injury 64, even if the victim is not broken, killing the victim outright. Yes. Yeah. Sorry. I love how, how Emily had the grace to come back and just join us for this. The first thing you do is kill her fiance. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, this is a cold and cruel universe. Uh, uh-huh. That actually is what makes the campaign play so much more devastating is because you can spend a long time with these characters and get to know them and then just like that mm-hmm. they can end and it's it's devastating. But regards that's uh that's another one down for the count. Um you, Penny, uh you just watch watch this horrific uh site takes place. I, th- I think it's appropriate that we add one more stress to the situation. Well, well actually, Kenny is going to activate his long haul perk, in which once per session, I uh, can ignore all stress lifted from a single roll. Okay, fair enough. So that didn't really bother him, actually. Oh, wow. Actually, actually, actually he was slightly relieved. You can actually remove one stress. No. <laughs> <laughs> slightly relieved. <laughs> oh, thank God. You're my rival. Out of the picture. <laughs> um, You're my rival, but, maybe. But, uh, but okay. So we, we can invoke that. But uh, what is he um, going to do in response to this? Uh, well, I was planning to throw my alcohol at it. I do that and still kind of back out of the room. You can't throw alcohol at your problems and have them solved. That's <laughs> what Kenny knows to do. Um, it's always different help with his problems. What 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 kind of what kind of move is that? Is that a ranged that combat? Be? I guess. Well, yeah. What kind of move would throwing something be? I, I mean, it would be ranged combat, but now we have to determine how much. What, 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 how much damage would throwing a, a bottle of alcohol? Well, it wouldn't do any damage. It would just be like, did it mess or did it like soak him or did it kind of splash him? Yeah. What, what are you trying to do here? I'm trying okay. to get him super flammable. Set the mofo on fire. Okay, so yeah. um, let me let me see here then. Um, okay, so. All right, so I, I guess we can do that as ranged combat, and if we get a success on that, we'll say that you managed to splash the thing with alcohol. Okay. Okay, so you, what um, are the numbers? Do we have an agility debuff right now? An agility debuff? Yeah. Like, am I, is my agility just what it should say? Um, or like a minus two? That was just uh, off the radar, right? Well, yeah, Alfredo did because he suffered that uh, panic in the last session, but... Okay, I couldn't remember um, why I wrote unless, it down. Unless you specifically suffered that... 
Doesn't look like it. So okay. I should be. I have three agility and zero each combat, so I guess three. Stress level? And one. Uh, one. All right. Well, let's see how this goes. Um, Kenny just watched the marshal get uh, uh, get his head smashed right in front of him by this horrific monstrosity. He manages to keep it together long enough to formulate a plan to try and make this creature flammable. Maybe he can find a way to set it on fire. And he tosses the down. alcohol at the monster. And manages right. to break the bottle on its head. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no, 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 oh, no, no. Break no, it. Break the... No, that's good. You broke it on its head. Oh, oh, on its head. I think the head of the bottle. No, no, it was a success. Congratulations. Hey, well, that's a panic. That's a panic success. No, it, uh, no, it's not. Oh, no, you're it's right. The, you're it's right. Only I forgot the high score. Panic that it's bad. Yeah. See, you're that's right. a you're success. Right. That's a uh, that's a panic. Right. You're right. Okay. So yeah. Uh, so congratulations. You made the monster hey. uh, uh, flammable. However, uh, all you did was get its attention. So sure. <laughs> Now the uh, the monster is going to roll for its attack. Oh, uh, piss! Why don't I get to go? <laughs> well, I was actually, you know, I was actually thinking about that. I was thinking Mbasha might be able to kind of jump in here, actually, as that happens. But then we do have to we do have to roll for this thing's attack. But um, what Fair would enough. you do, Mbasha? Uh, I want to get my flares. I want to get my flares out, my or a flare out, one of the five flares that I have, and light it, and get primed and ready to throw well, if I can't throw it. Well, well, here, here's the problem. At this point in time, you don't have a full grasp of the situation, and uh, Kenny didn't really communicate this to you, and I'm not even sure if Kenny really even knows you're directly behind him. So, All right, fair enough. I'd like to move to A2. So at this oh, point, I, well, I, I, part of my turn, I wanted to move back. Do I get to do that, or because I attacked them? Well, now you're attacked. Now you're in the middle of combat right now, basically. Yeah. So, okay. All right. So actually, you're kind of more here at this point. Okay. All right. <laughs> We're into that other room. Yeah. yeah. But, um, I think at this point, Mbasha kind of can probably see the dead marshal and probably get it's probably seen this horrific thing heading towards Kenny um, whether or not they saw the uh, the alcohol smash on it that's uh, that's another matter but yeah it's but, not like I have any other um, like I don't have any other weapons so the flare would have been my only option anyway but I do have to roll for this thing's attack all right go ahead so Three? Oh, one. one. So the creature, after being doused in the uh, in the alcohol, turns towards Kenny and lets out another horrific roar. And this causes uh, Kenny and uh, actually Ambasha um, are gonna both uh, roll for panic at this point. Okay. So do Kenny first. Which is what's uh what's your stress level one, Kenny? Yeah, just one. Right, two plus one, three, you keep it together. And Basha? Two. Two. Three plus uh, two equals five, you keep it together. Hell yeah! Get yeah. wrecked! All right. Dream team. Awesome. Uh, all right. We're going to have to draw for a new oh. initiative, but uh, let's go back to Tucker really quick. Or Tucker, just outside, just dying. So, <laughs> Tucker. Um, I think what we're gonna have to do here, um, you're not gonna, you're taking a turn here to try and de-stress. I think um, what we're gonna try and do is we're gonna we're just gonna call it another roll for stamina. Um, and I think what we're gonna try and do is see or, see is is it possible for you to de-stress if that makes any sense. The number yeah. that you gotta beat is four. Okay, I got four. I got three strength, one stamina, and four stress. 
So, so three, four, three, four and four. Three, three synchro. All right. And I actually, I actually brought the number down, believe it or not. It was, I was like, there's no way he's going to beat the other one. So I brought it down to four. <clears throat> Uh, so you gotta get at least five. So considerate. So you only got two, but then you also got panic. Five uh, plus four equals nine. If you're dropping something, if you have something in your hand, you drop it and your stress level increases by one. Aren't they already on the floor? Yeah. yeah. I, I don't think you himself. drop anything, but uh, your situation isn't improving if that wasn't already apparent. I don't know. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, it is getting worse at this point. All right. My health doesn't decrease? Not right now. Okay. <clears throat> right now. Just wait. All right, so let's, uh, let's draw for initiative once more. Diggy. Jesus. Let's see here. Did Mbasha go? I kind of, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, did Johnny have a turn just then? One second here. <laughs> go away. What's going on? Asi came into my room. Here. Oh. That's my gift. We're all gonna die. So, shuffling, 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 shuffling. Monster. Basha. Kenny. Alright, so it's actually gonna be Kenny and Basha and, the, and then the monster. Yeah. That's right, bitch. Alright. Kenny, what's going to be your first move? I'm going to run into that big circular room and yell at Mbasha. It's flammable now. What Maybe Kenny would room? say the big room. The big. Uh, I can't. Hold on. Let me look at those. Two. Wait, wait. I wait. will run to A9. You're gonna. So you're 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 gonna try and run away is what you're doing. And and yell at Mbasha uh, to light the bitch up. Okay, so the plan is you're gonna, your 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 battle plan here is to is to run away. Is, is that uh, what I'm understanding yeah. here? I don't have a weapon, so. Okay. What you? <laughs> so. Yeah. Well, I'm trying I'm trying to see here. Um. So that would basically mean. Agility, uh, mobility. Yeah. That would be a. I think that would be a mobility. My role. sister says hi, Baker. Hi, Baker. Hey. What up? Says hi. Enjoying the quarantine, I hope. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. She's with a friend. She learned. Uh, no, we can't. Okay. So, all right. So yes. Socially distance, you fucking kids. So this is a mobility roll. Um. So what are the numbers? Uh, just three, and then one stress. Three and one stress. So Kenny, seeing that uh, Mbasha is beside him and with no weapons um, at his disposal, decides he's going to try and run off. Perhaps even and distracting the creature to follow him and giving Mbasha a chance to strike. Great. All part of the plan. Unfortunately, um, oh. Not quick enough. What does that mean? Oh. Do I do I convey the information at least? Do I say like the, the bitch? Information, up? but um. Hold on. All right. Wait. No. Wait. Oh, no. Hold on. Hold on. There might be a chance here for you. I gotta. I was actually just looking up the number. I actually have to roll the, this dice. Um, this is the creature's mobility, so it has to get. If it if it um. So basically, it oh, just okay. has to get, you got one success, it has, it has to, get, to get less than one. It has to get less than one, exactly. Shoot. Hey. Right? 
That was a five. Oh. So <laughs> you did manage to run all the way over here, and the creature doesn't catch you. So nice. So Imbash, it's your turn. What are you gonna do? Um. Uh, is the creature, like, could I throw a flare at the creature? Could I light a flare and throw it? You could use your two, uh, moves to do that, yes. Uh, would I, would, like, is, uh, the question was, I was, I was asking is, is the alien close enough for me to hit it with something that I threw? Yes, it's like, it, it was going, it, it, it's, it's currently trained on Kenny, so it's heading towards where Kenny is, and okay. probably doesn't really see you right now, or maybe it does, but it's not concentrated on you, so there is a chance here, yes, you, you could okay. do that. But, so uh, I'd like to, I'd like to try that. Alright, so you're going to take one of your moves to light the flare, um, mm -hmm. and then we're going to do a ranged combat to see if, uh, if you successfully hit it. I can hear you guys. I'll be right back. What's that? Uh, he said he'll be right back. Oh, okay. He said he can still hear us. Oh, okay. He's got to deal with that cap. Um, <laughs> all right. Um, so, Mbasha, do you, do you understand what, I, what I'm saying here? Uh, I light a flare, and then I throw it. <laughs> yes, uh, but we got to do it based on ranged combat. Based on ranged combat, yes. Um, so, I don't have any rage combat, but I do have three agility. Okay, so it'd be three agility, and then what's the stress? Two. Two? Mm -hmm. Alright, and that's including the one from the, the horrible roar from earlier, right? Oh, no, it isn't. Sorry. So, three. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then I got to... So, um... First, we'll see if the roll was successful. Let's see if you successfully managed to throw this. So, Mbasha, you know, likes the flare and tosses it towards the, the horrible monster. One success, but one panic. So, roll for the panic. Six. Plus three. And Basha, unfortunately, uh, you dropped the flare. Yeah. Uh, which means uh, you did not uh, you did not successfully manage to uh, throw it at the creature. Is it lit? The flare. The flare was lit, but uh, when Mbasha tried to throw it, uh, they panicked. Him and they panicked, dropped it, and uh, yeah, nothing happened. Okay. Well, he does have four more. They have four more. Do have four more? Well, I could, I could I could I pick up the lit flare because it's a flare. It'll stay. Is it yeah, still you lit? Could, you could pick it up, but I'm just saying that move. Uh, nothing yeah, yeah, happened, yeah. and now the yeah. creature is uh, moving more towards where uh, Kenny is at. Okay. Does it have any reaction to the fire? Is no, it, it was scared. It, Is it? It was all focused on you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. The idea was that you were gonna have it chase you, and while it was distracted, and Basha was gonna toss the flare at it, and mm -hmm. uh, that failed. It's all right. We're not dead yet. All right. Um. So now it's uh, the creature's turn. Oh, it. And it catches up to uh, Kenny. Don't take me down. Rolls a four. Red dude, tough. The abomination leaps onto its victim. Leaps okay. onto Kenny. Roll for the attack using eight base die. Hits. Kenny is knocked. Uh, <laughs> Kenny is knocked to the ground. <clears throat> what items are you carrying, Kenny? Um, I have a, my copy of Space Beast, I guess. I have a tape recorder. That, I probably dropped that. That goes flying. Oh, no. Copy of Space Beast goes flying. The irony. Make an immediate panic roll. 
Three. What was your stress level? One. Keep it together. And then uh, uh, the abomination starts pounding the victim with its powerful fists. And this is, is resolved as an, a bonus attack. With, <laughs> with what? 12 base die, which... 12 base die. How is that even possible? There's only 10. <laughs> got more. What do you mean? That's what that's what I'm reading. I got these I got these printouts. That's what it says. I'm, I guess I'll add two stress die to that. Um, <laughs> yeah. Consider them consider them base die. Penny, what's uh what's your health currently? Uh, is that just strength or is that? It's just strength. Yeah. What's your strength level? Uh, five. No oh, damage. Oh boy. No damage. All right. Okay, so the creature, um, wow, okay, so the creature uh, starts uh, to uh, try and pound you, but I guess it was unsuccessful, and uh, you are unharmed at this point in time. Just missed right. it. You just yeah. did, like, some, some dodges, like you're in the ring. <laughs> or so, for, right. some, for some reason, it, it started pounding, but uh, it uh, you, weren't, you weren't hit or you weren't hurt miraculously. I, I was like, "Oh, base die!" I mean, come on, that's gonna that's that's gonna do something here. But what I tell you, Kenny, Kenny's Kenny's resilient. Um, all right, let's uh, let's go back to Tucker here. Tucker is uh, Tucker. Not still, Tucker. Tucker's still not doing well. Uh, and four and, and five. Four and five. Four base, five stress. Four base, oh. five stress. That is a lot of stress. Are you gonna try and move, or is this to try? And... I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to maybe lower my stress, but I'm accepting my fate at this point. It's not looking. It's 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 a very compromising disease. It really is. Sounds like it. Just wearing a mask. For for the record, the Virilian. Uh, was uh, was nine. I've, I've actually, I'm, I'm, I've actually kind of lowered it slightly to like, uh, to like four ish. Whoever made it. Nevolent mother. <laughs> Nevolent mother. Don't say that. Nevolent mother. Well, I'm fucked. The panic. <laughs> you got two successes, but three plus five is eight. You start to tremble, and all skills using agility uh, suffer minus two modification. Oh, well, that's all right. I mean, yeah, what's that gonna do? This is fine there. Yeah, uh, yeah uh, Kenny uh, or, uh, or uh, Tucker is uh, the disease is is really getting to you at this point, and uh, uh, you feel like you're starting to just uh, you're starting to lose your. Uh, uh, lose your your sense of, of everything, <laughs> like like the, the world around you is just getting dizzy, and it's like, you know, what's happening now? You know, kind of losing it. Mm. Sounds like fun. Yeah. All right, so back here. Mm. All right, so uh, we got um. We got uh, the monster and Kenny over in the central room here, and then we got Mbasha over here. Um, I think this would be the time for... Um, well, let me see. What, what do you guys want to do based upon what just happened here? I mean, I got to try again. I, like, I, Well, I want to move forward and try again. Like, pick up the flare, move forward, and throw it again. Okay. So... So we can do that. Okay. Um, Good. But uh, here's let me uh, let me actually do this first. Though. I'm gonna draw for the new initiative. Got yeah. Abomination, Inbasha, and Kenny. So Kenny mm, Monster okay. Inbasha. So hmm. um, this actually works 
out so we can actually have I think uh, we can have Imbasha kind of swipe the flare and if you want to follow where the monster went we can have you kind of move over here does yeah. that make sense yeah mm -hmm. all right um but we'll um we'll have Kenny is in a good position now to attack apparently so um yeah I was considering that 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 so, are running, but so currently you're on the punch. so currently you're on the ground. Um, right, the right. At this point, what do you what do you think you're gonna do? Where is so it's kind of like just on top of me. Like. It, it's it's over you currently, but it's somehow you found yourself in a position where it was not able to really successfully hit you, which. And because you were able to keep your panic in check, I'm thinking um, there is a. Um, I, I, I think there's there's an opportunity here for you to do something. Mm hmm. Um, now, if you want to get up, mm -hmm. uh, I, I I I I feel like you have to somehow get out from under the monster. Um, there... Yeah. What what role would that be? Ability. Yeah, I think it would be mobility, but what I'm what I'm getting at here is I think getting off the ground is one move. Mm -hmm. I think getting oh, away from underneath the monster is also a move. So I I do feel like at least that is gonna be mobility. That'd be my, that'd be my turn then. Yes, and yes, it is your turn. So. Um, so I have three mobility and one panic. Three. Um, Hi, old man. You, you don't. What, what's your agility? Uh, oh, sorry, three. Well, and you have the minus two modification, oh, right? Right. Yeah. So I just have one. So one, and then what's the mobility? Three. Yes. But no, sorry, one, uh, zero. When did everyone get the minus two? No, that was just. It's a panic thing. Or was that, that, that Tucker? That was Tucker. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm still three agility. No mobile. Oh. All right. Well, I apologize for that. I got confused for a second. good. All right, so three, and then stress is... One, yeah. One? Yep. Okay, so, sensing an opening, Kenny tries to get out from underneath the horrific creature. Unsuccessfully. Oh. No. Push it. Not... <laughs> can push it. Yeah, I'll push it. All right. Trying again. Can I get one stress if this goes through? Um, it's just for the roll. Oh, okay. Got it. That finally makes sense. And you were successful. Hey. Um, and you also can do some stunts here. Whoa. <laughs> no, I can't. Your stunts ability <laughs> is. Give one success to another PC in the same situation as you, which doesn't apply. Uh, gain a plus one mod to a later skill roll relating to this one, or you impress someone. I'll take that plus one for later, I guess. All right, write that down. Uh, but you managed to. Uh, what was that again? What is the plus one? Um, a plus one to. A similar situation. So if you were ever okay. in another situation where you were in monster trying to maneuver like under uh, away from a monster. Okay. Good good skill to have. Yeah. So there you go. So you got that. But now, uh, but you were you managed to get out, and uh, you're still on the ground at this point. You want to take that move and get up. Yeah. I, I mm. would. Yeah. <laughs> that was the plan, right? Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's up to you, but I, I would do that <laughs> if I were you. Right. Yes. Um, but now it is the uh, the Abomination's turn. So it hasn't lost sight of, uh, of Kenny. And it turns to face him. All right, two. The Abomination yes. strikes its victim with a powerful punch. Ugh. Let's see here. Kenny barely feels it and brushes it off. Well, I pops out. Well, let's pops see. It back in. Um. Uh, somebody died. 
the abom so you get it got one success so the mm -hmm. abomination strikes kenny and uh does one damage okay uh so shit it hits you and it does some damage to you but nothing at this point critical Mm. So, Mbasha, it's your turn now. <sighs> Gotta throw it. Gotta throw it. All right, ranged combat. Uh huh. All right. What's Zero the ranged, three agility, three stress. Three agility, how many ranged? None. And how many stress? Three. We got this. All right. Mbasha tries once again with the flare. To toss it at the abomination. Come on. Take money. And you got a success with it. You got I got two successes, <laughs> nerd. You got two successes. <laughs> so, so you actually, your option for a stunt is uh, inflict uh, one additional damage, um, <clears throat> uh, pin down the target, which in this instance I don't think applies. Mm -hmm. um, Redraw your initiative card, force the target to drop an item or weapon which doesn't apply, uh, force the target to fall to the ground or be pushed back, which it could fall to the ground but not be pushed back. All right. That bitch has fallen to the ground. All right. So We're getting away. So the abomination, uh, so the flare catches the abomination on fire. Um, and it does manage to fall prone. Um, I got stats here for the armor, uh, but I got to figure out how much damage a flare would actually do in this instance. Yeah. And he's covered in alcohol too, don't forget. He's on fire. Um, Gotta be. So the armor against fire in this case is three. So it's three base die, but uh, I got it. How much is the the fire actually doing? That's that's the part I'm trying to figure out. I mean, at yeah. the least, if it does one, I'd give it a plus one for being more flammable. Oh, make it do more one. <laughs> more than one, I'm kill saying, it I'm instantly. Kill well, it instantly. Playing at least. <laughs> what? Like. So the ranged uh, combat was. So you you got two successes on that. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to say, and, and you have it, it fell to the ground already. So yeah. what I'm going to say is this, I'm going to roll for its armor against fire. If it gets, uh, less than, if, if it gets less than two, uh, successes, um, basically, basically you stand to cause two damage to this thing is what is basically what you're getting at. So I'm okay. counting like one point of damage per success. Yeah. Just gotta, the armor rating just has to be less than that. Does that make, does that make sense what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Alright, so okay. let's roll for this thing's armor against fire. You did two damage to it. Yeet. All right. And Yeet. it's on <laughs> and it's, So it's still on fire, yeah? It, it is still on fire, yes. Okay. It should cool. take damage every turn now. And Radically. Something, something like that. We'll figure that out. Uh, does anybody know how quickly, how, how long does alcohol burn for exactly? Uh, can look that up. As long as you need it. Yeah. It burns for a while. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, is the is the creature itself flammable? It's weak to fire, but I wouldn't call it flammable, per se. If it bleeds, we can burn it. Yeah, it, it, it's weaker to fire than to physical attacks, but I, I wouldn't call that necessarily like... I, I, it's not... You're not out of the woods yet. This thing isn't down. I mean, yeah. I mean it, it is, technically, but it's, it's still got a lot of life left in it. But oh. I'm going to... Um... Uh, I feel really, really bad for Tucker here because he's basically at a point where it's uh, he's not really able do. to do anything and um, it's kind of out of moves at, at, at this point. Um, so 
I might as I so uh, I I think uh, at this point I'm actually gonna probably uh, Just call it. Do it. I'm probably gonna it. call it for you. So okay. So Tucker starts to tremble. I was I was kind of hoping we might be able to get to a point where there were people actually in the vicinity to witness this, but as it stands, uh, Tucker... You'll all see it. Yeah, Tucker is uh, now uh, pale. Uh, he's having, like, going through a seizure right now. And then in his kind of last moments, he feels something coming up through his throat. Oh, no. And his mouth rips out, and the, a kind of a blob of a creature is expelled. Uh, lots of gore. It's a very bloody scene. Um, uh, Tucker's esophagus is, is pretty much ripped to shreds at this point, and uh, he is dying a slow uh, death that um, stands no chance of recovering from at this point. <laughs> GG. How F. slow is that death? What's that? Ouch. How slow is that death? Um, I mean, we can try, like, rolling for, like, suffocation, but I don't, I don't, <laughs> just because, like, I don't think gonna, there's any point. Because I was going to say, uh, I'm, like, my next move was to get the, like, the hell out of there, just to run. And if I, I, I have a surgical to kit and nap relief. Okay. Uh, but, well, here, here's the problem. Um, you don't exactly know that this has happened, and I honestly don't think it's worth rolling for the suffocation because it's not going to work. Uh, but, um, it's I try. Justin. I, 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 I really, good. I think, uh, I think that's it for for Doctor Doctor Tucker Carlson. Not Tucker Carlson, no. So, now we have a little. Now we have a little baby Carlson to deal with. Maybe, maybe we'll find out. Um, but okay. So we get to roll for the initiative again. Um, let me uh, switch over here. Man. Shuffling, shuffling, shuffling. All right, so Monster, Kenny, yes. and Basha. Wait, that's a one, right? That a yes, it, it got is. a one. Yeah. So Mbasha goes first, Kenny goes second, and Monster goes third. I like it. All right. All right. Uh, I was going to say good luck getting out of there, Kenny, because I've done everything I can do. Uh, I'm leaving. Speed. I need to find speed, somewhere good to doctor. hide. All right, so where are you going to go? Ah, uh, let's see. Where should I go? Um, I could run back out into the open area, but that that place is kind of it's super open, and the monster, uh, I'm pretty sure, is aware that at least there are two people. Not that it's seen me, and that I could run away fast enough for it to not see me. But I don't know how good are this thing's senses if I know it all. It's vaguely humanoid. It's like it's a vaguely. giant. It, 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 if there's anything to kind of compare it to, it's like a giant mutant uh, primate. I see, I see. So I assume I'm, I, I am just going to assume that not too much better than a human at the very least. Um, so I'm going to uh, run from A2 or go to A2 and then uh, I could make a break for, like, not right now, but, like, make a break for A3. I mean, technically it would be faster if I went outside and then back into A3, but... Mm. I mean, where do you want to go, exactly? Because, I, I, again, I'm being a little bit more liberal with this whole area here, as you can tell. Yeah. Um, uh, movement. I think... I think I'm gonna go out of this whole place and run to towards where Tucker Carlson is. So, Never heard anyone say that. So, Mbasha 
uh, heroically uh, manages to uh, bring down the creature with uh, with their flare, and then is like, "Good luck, Kenny." <laughs> and uh, it's a that's cool. CFO. That's I mean, I've got two health yeah. at the and like I'm not. That's just not me. I can't attack. I did what I could. I, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. I'm just telling you that's what happened. Um, mm-hmm. All right, Kenny, you're up. Um, I was planning to run as well. I think I'm going to try and... The thing is between me and the last room, right? Yeah, it's kind of like right here. Yeah, so I'm going to run to A8 and then A1. To do that. All right, and Kenny is also going to make a run for it. Um... The creature is uh, uh, the creature is gonna get up from the ground though, and uh, uh, let's see here. It's Maybe. still on fire. Yeah, it, it's still on fire. I'm I'm, I'm trying to I'm debating here. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna roll for its armor really quick and see if we can do any additional damage to it because I think that's I think that's fair. All right, we did one more damage to it. So how much how much health does this thing have? Twelve. Where? Uh, yeah. Cool. So, yeah. So um, currently has nine health, but uh, now it's uh, uh, it's it's now going to be chasing after Kenny. So Kenny uh, runs out, but he sees the orange. He can see the orange glow in the tunnel. Um, you know, sort of the fire uh, is sort of reflecting off of the sides. Uh, so, and you hear the footsteps. So, you know this thing is coming after you. And it's not mm-hmm. too far behind. It's, a, it's got a vendetta. Great. There's no, you don't have to fight it right now, but uh, it is coming for you. Mm-hmm. All right, uh, Mbasha, your turn. Well, I'm Audi 5000, so um, just keep going. Right. Well, I need to see the like the where can I go at this point? <laughs> well, you uh, are right here. So I'm still in C34. Yeah. Uh, okay. You could move to either of these three spaces. All right. Let me think real quick. Is it? Would it be possible? Okay, so these walls. Is there any space between these, like the wall of the, the whatever cylinder thing, this, and this here? like yeah, and the water? Like, what's no. what's that situation? You you cannot um, you cannot um, go into the water from where you're at right now. This is like a wall. Oh. I meant, what if I were to go from C34 to C31, and then go on the outskirts of C34? Walk around the edge. Walk around the edge. No, yeah. you can't no. do that. Okay, all right. Mm. No, it's a good question. You can't, though, unfortunately. Okay, can I go to C31? And what's how far away is the floor from the water? Like, is there a wall? I'm trying to hide. <laughs> <laughs> um, you how how far away is the water from uh, from this landmass? Yeah, like place? could I hide in the water and the, would the monster be able to see me? I don't know if you could. I I mean I don't know if you could hide unless you were to like actually like go under the water. Um, but you could. Try Try like uh, we could roll for uh, for drowning. <laughs> <laughs> Do I just go into the water instantly drowns? <laughs> uh, in the water for a while it's, earlier. Today. It's actually there is a there is a good system for that actually. Um, you could the the short answer is yes. You could uh, come out of here and you could jump into the into the water that 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 is an option yes all right well i'm gonna i'm gonna hit that because that's the only thing i can think of at the moment go back here i strategy 
grab the token. <laughs> so Mbasha runs out, but Mbasha sees the uh, the dead body of Doctor Tucker and the uh, and the creature that is just birthed from it. What's it doing? It's, uh, it's, uh, just emerged from, uh, what appears to be some kind of, like, uh, uh well, uh, it's not Ben's words here. It's kind of like a placenta. Mm hmm. Uh, 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 like, what? It's, what it's, isn't, it's, though? Yeah, what isn't really? What is What do you mean it? it's like a placenta? It's like a sack. Oh, a sack. It, there we go. Just, it's just emerged from it. And uh, it's a small uh, white creature, but it's it's doused in blood, and uh, it's uh, it sees you. Well, uh, oof. will it attack me? Is that well, a thing that attacks? It is. It's a thing that attacks. <laughs> it is a thing that attacks. So the reason hey, why I'm I just gonna let you know, Johnny. There aren't a lot of friendly aliens in the Aliens series. Yeah. Well, yeah. I didn't. I didn't expect it to be friendly. I just thought it would be afraid of me because I'm much larger than it. Nope, not this one. Not this one. Okay, no, that no. sucks. Yeah. So we get to uh, now. We, it's uh, now that this is a combat situation. We have to acknowledge that. Uh huh. Um. Yeah, flares. We do have the I know. Players. I let have me, to ready a flare. Let me just draw these cards really quick. Okay. So we got Bloodburster and Basha. Basha goes first. All right. Sick. What I, is bet, I swear to God, if this thing has more than like three health, I'm gonna be pissed. Um, I'm gonna just ready four. a flare and. Uh, I think I'm going to prepare for... I'm not going to throw it. I'm going to, like, ready a flare and have it come to me. Like Jurassic Park? <laughs> I guess Just so. like Jurassic Park. <laughs> it's visions based on movement. Um, all right, so yeah, you can yeah. ready the flare. Um, yes. And what are you, what are you trying, what's the plan? What are you trying to do? So the thing's going to come attack me. And when it does that, I'm going to like get it with the fire. So Let's get it. would that be, would that be blocking or would that be close combat? I, I feel like it's, I'm, I'm trying to like get it. Like I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get it. So I'd say close combat. This is gonna suck. Because <laughs> so, you've already got one what action. Because I'm looking at my list here. You draw a weapon, which in this case is the flare. That's one action. Um, if if it was a close combat roll, you're not waiting for it to attack. You're attacking it. If you're oh fair. Yeah. If you're waiting for oh, it, it would be going, it sorry. would be a block attack, which is technically the same thing. Um, it's, mm -hmm. it's, it's still a close combat role, but I, it's more dependent at this point it is of what is this thing going to do? And is the yeah, and so is block going to work? I'll do a block. I'll do a block. All right, so Basha lights the flare and holds it out in front of them. Mm. And then let's <laughs> draw, see what the, uh, what the little snarling creature is going to do. Even as a baby, this uh, this uh, creature is extremely aggressive. <laughs> um, terrifying hiss. The bloodburster jumps onto the victim, showing its razor sharp teeth. Um, uh, because this wasn't technically an attack, um, the block I don't think applies, unfortunately. What do you um, mean? He jumped at me. <laughs> jumped at you, but jumped it, on me. Jumped I have the me. arms are out already. Yeah, but it jumped oh. over the flare. That's jumped over assault. the flare. My arms are the flare. <laughs> I was, uh, your arms are the flare. You're holding the flare out in front of you, but it it 
dodged it. It dodged the flare? It jumped over it. It dumped over. Does it get it. its belly singed at least? There's it like a spray and sparks out. All right, so it's it's on me. It, it, it's it's basically what it's done is this. Um, it knocks you to the ground. You're still holding out of the flare. You haven't dropped anything, but the creature is uh, lets out a terrifying hiss, and now we you make an immediate panic roll. Okay. Great. Cool. What, what's Great. your stress level? Three. Three. <laughs> One plus three is four. And Basha, you managed to keep it together. Yeah. Just a quick Jesus slips out of my mouth. <laughs> yeah. Maybe it'll just play with you. We'll see. Um. All right. I like to do that. Kenny, what you gonna do, man? This thing's chasing after well, you. Um, is that little tunnel A5 to A3? That's a dead end, right? This here? Yeah. It, it, it's not a dead end. It's just, it's got a weird black liquid. Oh, okay. Uh. Hmm. Where is the it's, creature right now? It's got a it's liquid. A, uh, approximately an A8. I'm going to run back to A6. Okay, I have cool. a long I have a long term plan here. Alright, so Kenny is instead of running away, he's got a plan to outwit this creature. So he's actually gonna give it the good old run around. That's right. As he moves towards the uh, the A2 tunnel, he can see the creature appear in the A1 area. Still on mm-hmm. fire, chasing after him. I'll do I'll quickly here just roll for the fire attack. Nice. Um, unfortunately, hey. no damage this turn. Oh, okay. Right. Um, Do I get to all the way into A6 or? No, you got to A2. Edge to A2. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's fine. All right. So, all right. Let's go back here. Um. All right. So let's see. Here, draw for the initiative. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Uh, Bloodburster and Basha. Uh, fuck you. Blood, the Bloodburster is going to make the first move here. Uh-huh. <laughs> Six. Nah! Uh, the That's like an instant kill. The Bloodburster bites uh, in Basha's throat. Oh, no. Roll for the attack using eight base die. Pass. Uh, five, six, seven... Eight. One success. If the attack causes any damage, immediately triggers critical injury 61, which is a ruptured jugular. Oh no, that's hey. a bad one. Um, you uh, you um, let's see here. Uh, time limit one round. Uh, fatal, yes. Um, May I cauterize it? Hmm. So I, I'm trying to understand here. It, it says uh, it says um, it says it's fatal, but it also says uh, it only lasts one round, and it has a minus one stamina penalty, and the healing time is a certain number of days. I I'm I'm, I'm a little bit confused by these conditions. To be perfectly yes. honest. It would be fatal if you don't treat it, but if you can treat it, all that other stuff applies. Yeah. Um, uh, but if in any the case, doctor could just cauterize it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, how would you? How would you even go about that? Uh, is flare to the neck. Flare to the neck. Flares are already lit. Hands are here. Hands are here. Flare to the neck. Come on. <laughs> the, the logic is sound. <laughs> that, that's that's some hardcore shit. Um, that's right. I'm a doctor. <laughs> I mean, wouldn't that have other effects though? Wouldn't that? Uh... That would get a burn. Yeah. <sighs> Man, there's a lot of stuff for juggling. I I almost th- okay. Uh, hold on here. <laughs> no, it's up to you. I'm just throwing things out. 
No, no, I, I hear Matt it. just wants I'm... us to die complicitly. <laughs> no, it's not that. I'm just, I'm a, I'm a little bit confused by these conditions. Yeah. Uh, because it says it's fatal, but it all, oh! Figured out? I get it. it you, it's fatal after one round. Oh, okay. So, effectively, Mbasha, you're, uh, you're bleeding out right now. Yes. Um, so it is your turn. So do you want, to, with that information in mind, do you, what do you want to do? So, okay. So is it hanging on? Is, like, is the bite, is it still biting me? No, it just bit out your throat, but it's still on top of you. It's still on top of me. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to go... It, but the only thing that's wrong with me is a ruptured jugular. That's, going to, that's, going, to, that's going to kill you after one round. I, I know it's going to kill me after one round, but I'm not talking like there's no holes in my esophagus, my trachea, everything's good there. Yeah. Just my, just my jugular. Yeah. Just that one. All right. Easy. Easy. Mm-hmm. Just flare to the neck directly on it, cauterize the wound. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do with that. Mm -hmm. um, that would be. <laughs> <laughs> that, be like. I I'm trying to think because he, so so this would definitely be a uh, some kind of medical aid role. Um, oh, okay. But I'm looking at it in a number of ways. There's a. This is incredibly unlikely to uh, uh, save your life uh, mm -hmm. in any way. Mm -hmm. And if anything, is probably going to cause more suffering. Um, and? <laughs> um, What's the point of more suffering if I die anyway? Loser. Good answer. Oh, and also, oh, it also says... Um, Oh, it also says, did we roll for panic? Because it says there's also a panic roll here. We, we, we rolled for panic at some point. Yes, we rolled for panic because of the hiss. But did we roll for oh, panic? Yeah. Oh, for the, the bite. The down. hiss and the bite are two different things. No, we yeah. didn't roll for panic. Okay, well, yeah, we actually have to do that. <laughs> Shut up. What's okay. the stress <laughs> level again? Three. All right, you're... Uh, even under those circumstances, you managed to keep it together. Oh my uh, god! That's right. That's right. Um, I'm such a G! <laughs> you're a very good doctor. Okay, so um, even with this thing on top of her, or uh, on top of them, uh, Mbasha is uh, going to try and cauterize this wound by jamming the flare into the, the wound. Um, that would be a medical aid roll. Um, Let's go. What are the what are the Let's numbers? Go. That? I got three medical aid, five empathy, and three Ooh. stress. I like the mods. I also have compassion, which means I can push any base uh, based on empathy twice. Um, nice. Empathy for yourself by shoving a flare in your neck hole. Oh yeah. That's kind of empathy. One sec, one second here. I gotta, I gotta look up something here with, um, with regards to the the critical injury here. Because <laughs> I, I, I have a feeling like I, this can't just be something that's like, oh, I got a success. It worked. It, there has to be some other kind of penalty here. It, 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 uh, just take away some of my like. Uh, 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 I, I'll take like a health off. I will sacrifice a health for you. As uh, long as I win. <laughs> mm, I don't think it's that simple. Um, <laughs> oh, that makes sense. Okay, so we actually can't do that. Shut up. <laughs> so okay, so if you suffer a critical if you suffer a critical injury that's listed as fatal, you, we have to actually make a death roll. 
Well, that can still be all right. And it's a roll for stamina, which with this uh, particular injury, there is a minus one penalty to stamina. Yeah. For the turn. Uh, so there's a lot of stuff that went through in Bosch's head about the possibilities, but now we're at the point now where they really have to confront the reality of this situation that they're in. The reality is, if I cauterize the wound, then I'll be fine. But if I don't cauterize the wound, I will die. That's the reality of the situation. Don't well, reality the situation, you're going to die me, okay? Well, here's, here's, <laughs> the, here's the reality. Uh, what are your stamina numbers? <laughs> numbers don't lie. <laughs> the numbers don't lie, dog. All right, I have one stamina and two strength, and that is not factoring in the uh, the supposed buff uh, debuffs I got. <laughs> the alleged debuffs. The alleged rigged. debuffs. It's all rigged. This oh. entire game is rigged. <laughs> oh, see if uh, Mbasha holds on for dear life. Oh, well, Mbasha panicked. Ooh. I would too, to be fair. I went this entire time without panicking. <laughs> six minus, uh, or six you plus hadn't been three. bitten the jugular before. Nine. I dropped uh, something. Six plus three is nine. Uh, and Basha, you actually dropped the flare. Yes, that's what I said. And uh, add plus one to your stress level. Um, and also, you did not have any successes on that. Um, so, uh, you, uh, actually, uh, Mbasha, you actually, you're actually dead now. <laughs> it break the news. <laughs> no bedside manner for the doctor. <laughs> Unfortunately, I mean... Rigged! Uh, it says, you rigged uh, game. you suffer critical injury, you're listed as fatal, make a death <laughs> roll, roll for stamina, you cannot push it. If the if the roll fails, you die. You know, I literally designed Penny to like die quickly, and somehow, <laughs> somehow he's made it. It's the only one. I don't know if this game is just really hard, or we just have really awful odds. It's weird odds, though. It's just it's weird shit keeps happening. Yeah. yeah. You know, this is a this game is this game is brutal. This game is really brutal. I just wrote dead on my character sheet. <laughs> <laughs> with well, X, yeah. with that in mind, F in the chat. We got, we got our uh, final girl, uh, or guy. Penny. <laughs> the last girl. Um, Best looking Penny. last girl. This uh, this thing is um, come on, come on, come on. one space. Uh, there's one space between you at all times. You figured out at this point. It's it's big, but it's also slow. Well, you can move two spaces. It seems it can only move one. That's right. So you do have an advantage of mobility on your side. But um, what is what are, what is Kenny going to do in this situation? I must feel bad trying to stay alive now, but <laughs> um, yeah. I'm going to keep going with my plan. I'm going to run to A9. A8 if I can. Like by going through A6, but I think I can only get to A9. Alright, so Penny does the, uh, the run around and uh, leaves the creature behind him somewhat. What, what are you going to do next, dude? My, my long term goal is to get to the tunnel by A8, between A8 and A9, or A10, sorry. Well, you can tell me what you're doing because there's no need for turns right. anymore. I, yeah, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, there he is. Drawing, that's the goo. So I'm drawing the, the leaking black goo. Oh, I see. And then I'm going to draw this elephant looking thing here to represent the creature. A little trunk on him. <laughs> it's a little dude. He's on fire. No. <laughs> A little fire. Wait, 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 hold on. I, I got this, I got this, hold on. Let me uh, open up the uh, the token. Uh, Can I have something 
Oh, whoops. I, oh, my dog has laid down next to me. I'm on a beanbag right now, and he's laying down on the beanbag with me. He's very cute. Oh, my dog's punctured a beanbag. Oh. Make sure it didn't happen. Who is it? It is. I guess I don't know. Thanks. I can't. You're a good boy. Alright. So oh, what are you shit. doing, dude? Oh, gross. <laughs> I'm under that tunnel. Between A8 and A10. Um, A8 and A10? That uh, tunnel we haven't... Oh, oh, this one down here? Yeah. Okay, what's down here? Damn it, I could have just gone that way. There's another Sorry. tunnel on the other side, kind of. Yeah, there is. No, the the oh, the creature doesn't know that he's going that way now. How does a creature know that he's going that way now? Super Why? senses. You no, know. no, we established this, this that it doesn't is, have well, super senses. So, so the, <laughs> this place echoes. It's 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 reverberating sound. Then the sounds reverberating everywhere. How does he know where the source of the sound is? <laughs> because, You're trying harder to keep any alive. Because it's a humanoid creature, it's it's very it, it it's it's a superhuman creature. But it is on fire. Is it panicking at all? Because it's on fire. It's on no, fire. but I will roll for armor. How does it hear anything when all it can hear is fire? Fire <laughs> is pretty quiet. No, it is not. <laughs> when you're on fire, all you hear is. Have you ever been on fire? No. Have you? Exactly. Uh, no damage was done, by the way. Fine. Damn, part of my plan was to slowly rack up damage doing this. Oh, yeah. Um, I guess I'm going to go to the shadowy side of the room. I know that I have to get through black liquid to do it. So this is a mobility roll. Okay. Where, where, where exactly did you want to go through here? Uh, the, the right side of the room. Okay. Well... So, you don't know what this black stuff is. Um, right. So, are you just running through it, or are you gonna try and um, try and avoid touching it? I'm gonna probably instinctively avoid it. Nothing right. good in here has been. So this would be cancer a, so far. So this would be a mobility roll then. Okay. So I am. Uh, uh, three agility, zero mobility, one stress. One stress? Ah. All right, let's see if this works. Uh, Kenny is trying something here. He's trying to see if he can draw out the fire and have the creature succumb to the flames. Uh, he's gonna do a risky move here. Uh, no. It, no, he doesn't succeed and he also panics. Uh. We'll say that he did manage to get this far, but we got a roll for panic. Two plus one. You managed to keep it together. Uh, you did. Part of you did. Uh, you did step in some of the the black uh, stuff. So. Sure. Where's my work gear? Does that help at all? Yeah. My mining I gear. So. I would say that. I would say so. Yeah. Okay. Don't get it in my mouth. I, I would say for right now, it's not really your concern, and it, it's not having any immediate like effect on you. Mm -hmm. um, all right, so Kenny, what is the next move, buddy? Is it? Well, does it do anything or take damage? Yeah, yeah, you're right. All right, it took one damage. At like seven. Eight. No, it's at eight. Okay. Um, uh, but the fire is st starting to run out. You see, you you might yeah. have a little bit more life left in it, but it's not going to last forever. Yeah, and this thing isn't damage. quite down yet. Man, I'm still going to try and get to that right side of the room. Okay, another mobility. Yeah. What's, uh... Unless it looks like there's a path I can take to just have to step in. Or is it kind of just everywhere? What what path are you talking about? Like, straight in front of where my face is. Like, to the right. Right diagonal down. 
Oh, you mean like through yeah, here? Yeah. Well, down and then just forward. Just straight diagonal forward. Looks like the room opens. Oh, you, oh, you mean like here? Oh. Yeah, yes, exactly. You want to go... Damn it. <laughs> you want to okay. go that way then? I guess so. <laughs> Shit. All right, that's another mobility roll. Fuck. Okay, sorry, I'm three and then one stress. Let's do it. I'm trying to find the controls to this ship or something. Uh, no successes. So he does manage to get over there, but splashing around some more of this black stuff, whatever it is. Uh, he might notice at this point that it's not just an inert black liquid. It is appear to be moving. It's uh, and uh, possibly even reacting to his presence. Ugh. Um, That's a creature. We'll roll for this thing's armor. Down to My seven health. Is to make this as annoying as possible for you. <laughs> <laughs> it is what you get for trying to kill me. What's yeah. the next step, Kenny? Well, shit, that kind of ruins my plan. I was hoping to find something helpful down there. I almost want to just try fighting it, but it's not even near there's me still, now. There's still a gun in A4, or A6. That's true. It didn't yeah, do anything on it, though. Well, yeah, but... it's a, Like, that's armor rating. It's on fire now. That's true. Okay, I, yeah, that's a good idea. I remember what Mbasha said about there being a gun. <laughs> up in the other room, so I'm gonna head that one. All right, so I guess say probably gonna do one more mobility roll to get out of here. Sure. All right. Let's we'll grab an observation. Everybody enjoying this slow, uh, slow chase yeah. that we got here. <laughs> um, you got a success, but you also got a panic. Okay. One plus one is two. You keep it together, and you get out without touching any more of the black liquid. Good. Um, Great. <laughs> all right. So, what are, what are we doing? A uh, A eight, A nine, or how? Yeah, yeah. Fastest way through that room. All right. So. I'm on fire now. Oh yeah, I forgot. <sighs> it should be like, about out. We got like three more turns and then this fire is going out. Okay. It, so far, now it's it's down to six health. Nice. Um, I guess run into A6 and do an observation check for the gun. If I have to do that. What's the observation? Not great. Um, it is four wits with minus two observation. But I had zero observation, so I think four. Is that how that works? I don't get like negative two, right? The negative two for for. I said I. Oh, said in, Kenny had a negative two, but I was already zero. Oh, well, in here there's a little bit more light in here. Oh, okay. Yeah, so and I, that penalty doesn't really apply uh, in the. In it the, wouldn't matter anyway. Yeah. It's just still okay. four. Okay, and then four one and then one stress. Yep. Oh, Kenny's doing pretty well with his stress. For some reason. <laughs> uh, you did not find the gun, unfortunately. You can push it. I'll push it. All right. Searches around some more. And you managed to find the gun. Nice. The loaded, how much ammo? Uh, ammo isn't really counted in this game. Oh, okay, great. Yeah. It, it, there is a point where an, it, it does become unloaded, and when we get to that, we'll talk about it. But at this point, it's the assumption is that you you just have um, enough ammo in there. Right. All right. So now that Kenny has a gun, what's Kenny going to do? I'm going to confront it. I'm going to go back in the circular room. If I can see it, I'm going to shoot at it. 
Alright, Kenny is going to go to A9, and uh, you do see it. It's over here in A10. Alright, my range combat is 0, agility is 3. Three. And uh, one stress. Mm -hmm. Okay. Say night. That's the ape. Space ape. Kenny is going to try and shoot at this thing. Uh, he misses. Okay. You want to push it? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I do. He panics. All good. Three plus one is four. You keep it together. Um, this thing is heading towards you. Roll for its armor. No damage that time. Um, now we're going to draw for the initiative, I think. Oh, yeah, sure. Alright. Abomination, Kenny. Abomination goes first. Could have gotten worse. <laughs> um, all right. So what is it gonna do? Three. Let's see what do we got here? What do we got here? What do we got here? Where did I put it? Um. Put it. Here it is. Abomination. Okay. Um, three. Throw. So the Abomination grabs Kenny and tries to slam it into the nearest hard surface, which in this Wimpy. case would be this wall over here. Uh, okay. Maybe more like here. Um, roll for the attack using nine base die. Roll this. It'll be fine. Damage one. Uh, Kenny takes one damage. Okay. And is now prone. Uh, you drop the gun. Yes. And make an immediate panic roll. Five plus one, you keep it together. What do I need to not keep it together? That's six. Uh, anything beyond six. <laughs> okay. It, it, one through six, keep it together, and then anything up beyond that, we start getting into. Okay, now there's now there's some kind of effect happening. Um, all, right. all right. So Kenny, you're on the ground now, and you don't have a gun. I guess I'll punch it. Seriously? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Could I? It, I it, mean. It, it, okay. Well, it is on fire still. Oh, it is? Yeah. Wait, do you need my strength and stuff? Um, it would be a close combat, but depending if you hit it or not, there might be some kind of, uh, there might be burn some it. kind of risk yeah. there. I can get my hands burned. I got five strength and one close combat. Five strength, one close combat. I'm a tough and, old sourpuss. And, and, and one stress? One stress, yeah. This yeah, is just every day for Kenny, apparently. Yeah, all right, well. Well, hold, wait a minute. Wait a Aim minute. for the well, groin. Well, wait a minute, hold on. You are uh, you are on the ground currently. Um, I'm aiming, I'm punching up at its balls, if it has any. Okay. It's vaguely human, you said, so. Gotta have something there. Okay. Um. I feel like if you're going to try and do that, though, you're not in a good position to punch with, like, your full strength. You under, you know what I mean? Hmm, sure. Like an uppercut, though. Even still, like, you, you're not firmly planted on the ground. You're in a very vulnerable position. I mean, you're not... Mm -hmm. I mean, there would be some kind of penalty there, I'm thinking. Minus one, maybe? No, I think we're gonna. I, I think if you're gonna try and attack him while you're lying prone, it's gonna be like minus two, at least. Okay, sure. All right. 
right, well, Kenny tries to punch the creature in the balls. I guess. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Balls. I mean, none of your weapons. And it does not succeed. Oh my okay. gosh. Why? Because it doesn't have balls? Do I hit it and it just does nothing? Well, it it's wearing some kind of bio suit, so it's not just naked. I thought it's just its head was in a it wasn't it's like skeletal? Yeah, it's like a skeletal bio suit. You can kinda see it here. Oh. Um, see? Yeah, I didn't re oh I s yeah, you're right. Okay. Yeah. Um so Oh that uh, thing was in the first alien, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah. You saw a dead one. Yeah, yeah. But the we see a real one in Prometheus and an alien covenant. All right, so Kenny's that didn't still, work. Kenny's still on the ground. Let's uh, draw for the initiative again. Monster, Kenny. Kenny goes first. Hey, what are you going look to for do? The, grab the gun. Or do check for the gun. Yes. All right, you're, all right, so you're still on the ground. Um, do you uh, see the gun from your vantage point? How would we determine that? Would that be would be like an observation or? I guess. <laughs> I feel uh, like at this point we're just kind of drawing out the inevitable. I know. I'm trying to. <laughs> trying and to get and, to some and let me tell here. you, I'm enjoying every single solitary second of that. I'm you. happy for you. <laughs> Thank you. Very it happy for you. Warms my heart. I bet. Um, so you do get two moves, and uh, I think um, I think we can do like an observation. As uh, I, I don't see it on here at the moment, but I I, I think we can. Um, mm -hmm. Hold on here. Run. Actually, I think when we're in combat, I don't know if. Hmm. Yeah, it's not listing it as a combat option. Um, I think the first thing you honestly got to do, man, is I think you got to use up one of your moves to stand up. Stand up, yeah. Okay. And then and then roll for observation to find the gun. We'll do that. What are the numbers? Uh, four and then one stress. Four and one stress. Let's do it. This is like Monopoly when you're winning. <laughs> is it? A little bit. I feel like I'm winning. No, it's, no, I'm the one who's winning. I didn't <laughs> disgruntled. <laughs> so uh, you found the gun. Great. So Did I, do I grab had, it? Well, you also had an extra success in there, so let me pull out my nifty stunt uh, paper to find it. And it says, uh, "You can well for for you can ask you can ask me one of the following questions if you want. Is it coming for me? How are, are there more of them close by? And how do I get get in or uh, past or away? I don't want to get away. Uh, wait, wait, repeat them. You can ask me. Is it coming for me?" Uh -huh. I think it is. Close by, or how do I get in, or past, or away? And I, frankly, I don't know if any of those questions are gonna the answers to those questions are gonna be particularly useful. But you can no. ask me one of them. I think I know how to get away, and I think I know it's coming for me. So I guess, are there any more? As far as you can tell, no. But I'm asking you. <laughs> do you? And know? I told you the answer. Okay. All right. As you can tell now. Well, do I do I have the gun now, or do I just see it? You just see it. <sighs> yeah, man. We had to use up one of those moves to. Uh, uh, to get how did he even yeah. catch up to you? <laughs> yeah, I, I went cool. to shoot him. Oh. Yeah, he grabbed okay. me and threw me. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I have three health left. Next round. Well, no, the monster didn't do anything. 
Oh yeah. I had the first oh initiative. yeah, it didn't. Yeah. It didn't. It didn't. Um, okay. Yeah. Not All to right. like give it a turn, but. <laughs> All right. Well, let's see what it's gonna do then. Or. Uh, the pounce. The abomination <laughs> leaps onto its victim like a big monkey. Roll oh. for the attack using uh, eight base die. Drop this one. The attack did not hit. So, at this point in time, you are, uh, you know, you're still in the clear. Somehow. Okay. Uh, you see, it's not totally unfair. Um, Do I have to get back up now? No, you, no, 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 it, it, it missed you. If it hit oh, okay. you, you would have been knocked back down. I see what you're saying. Okay. Yeah. Um, all right, so let's draw this out. Uh, abomination, Kenny. Abomination goes first. Good. Naturally. All right. First. You had, oh, I, I don't know if you saw it. It was uh, Abomination had uh, the, uh, the oh, nine, I believe and, it. and you had a one. Oh, okay. Yeah. You're trying to show me to rub that in. Oh no, I was I, I just forgot to switch to the camera when I drew the cards. Um, Alright, oh shit. Okay, so the Abomination oh. grabs a uh, victim by the head and attempts to crush it with uh, its bare hands. Uh, I do have a metal disc in my skull. Roll for the attack with six base high. Uh, and uh, Kenny, his head is uh, crushed, and you are now dead. Ah! Uh, why did someone so ever pops into out. all of these maps and then kill us off instantly? And uh, and then uh, that is uh, that's where the story ends. Um, so uh, are we really gonna run this like campaign a... again at some point, or what's that? Are we going to run this campaign again at some point? Because I want to see the rest of the map if we aren't. I mean, we can at some point. I kind of feel like um, it'd be fun to, you know, I, to play some of the other ones. I've been cooking up a few other scenarios, of course, but we can, absolutely. Um, so uh, I'll, I'll do a little uh, kind of tag here. Um, so that was, uh, that was Alien Dissension Part 2. I know. Um, Considerably shorter than part one. Uh, I think uh, to in total, uh, this was like six and a half hours. So mm. This is a decent piece yeah. of content. Um, what did you guys think of it? Uh, what, what mad you at you. Uh, what's that? <laughs> We're all mad at you. <laughs> I'm mad at you. <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll allow it. <laughs> You're allowed to be I feel like I'm being really I fair with that. <laughs> Jesus, Lord! Yeah. I don't uh, but, know what he's barking at. But 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 seriously though, um, uh, what did you, did you guys uh, like this scenario? Did you like the story? Did you have fun yeah. with it? I was I, it, it. I was so surprised at the um, the in depthness of the of the maps. I'm really interested yeah. That was a to cool. Know. That was a cool reveal when you fell, and there was like this whole other. Yeah, cavern. there's this massive like cavern. It was insane. I want to know what the black yeah. goo, what the black goo is, because I don't know what that is. <laughs> watch I Prometheus. Guess... Yeah, you watch oh, the, right. yeah, watch the yeah, watch Prometheus, um, and uh, an Alien Covenant. Watch the Alien movies, and you'll find out about all this stuff. I and see, now you can go go on YouTube and sync up Matt's commentary and watch Prometheus with Matt and Justin right in your ear. That's oh, correct. That's you nice. can. It's uh, it's up on Studio Utani right now. Um, I'm plugging you right now. Oh, thanks, buddy. And yeah. Justin and I are going to do Alien Covenant sometime, hopefully fairly soon here. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, we'll, we'll get to that. Um, anywho, I'll, I'll just do uh, do one last conclusion here, and I'll stop the, the recording. Uh, um, thank you all for uh, watching, and uh, I hope you, uh, you enjoyed uh, this playthrough of the original scenario, Alien Dissension.